Albert Clifton Stewart, Black Chemist. During the early 1950s, Albert Clifton Stewart held a prominent role as a chemist at the Oak Ridge National Laboratory, a key nuclear research facility in eastern Tennessee. He later went to work for Union Carbide, a large chemical producer. Over the course of three decades, he held a number of significant positions with that company, most notably as its first black director, first black director of sales for the chemical and plastics division. Stewart has also participated in a number of civic organizations, including the Oak Ridge Town Council, where he was the first black member. Albert Clifton Stewart was born in Detroit, Michigan on November 25, 1919, the son of Albert and Jean Kaiser Stewart. He attended the University of Chicago, where he obtained his Bachelor's of Science degree, degree in 1942. During the next decade, Stewart would intersperse Stewart would intersperse periods of full time employment with periods of progress on his postgraduate work, sometimes working while continuing his education. From nineteen forty three to nineteen forty four, he worked as a chemist with the Sherwin Williams Paint Company in Chicago. And in 1944, as the nation entered its third year of war with Germany and Japan, he joined the United States Naval Reserve as an officer. He would remain with the reserve for the next 12 years. In the mid-1940s, Stewart returned to the University of Chicago to pursue his Master of Science degree. From 1947 to 1949, he worked as an assistant in the university's inorganic chemistry department and in 1948 received his degree. The following year, he married Colleen H. Highland, Colleen M. Highland, Colleen M. Highland, and the couple moved to St. Louis, Missouri. There, he began work on his doctorate in inorganic chemistry, that is, the area of chemistry dealing with compounds that do not contain carbon, at the University of St. Louis. During this time, he also taught chemistry courses and served as a research associate. Stewart earned his Ph.D. degree in 1951 with a dissertation entitled Reactions of Sodium Borohydride, Lithium Aluminum Hydride, and Lithium Borohydride with Metal Ions. An ion is an atom or group of atoms which has a net positive or negative charge, which it takes on by gaining or losing negatively charged electrons or positively charged protons. Stewart's doctoral work tested the response created by the use of ions with a variety of lightweight metallic compounds, several of them reducing agents used to negatively charge other compounds by adding electrons to them. After the completion of his doctoral studies, Stewart moved to Knoxville, Tennessee. The city is near Oak Ridge. The city is near Oak Ridge, a center for nuclear testing and research under the federal government's Atomic Energy Commission. In 1951, he became senior chemist at Oak Ridge National Laboratory, and through the AEC, had other. And though the AEC had other African American employees, Stewart was the first Black PhD to serve on its staff. He would continue to direct chemistry operations at the Oak Ridge Lab for the next five years until 1956. During this period, Stewart found time for a number of activities outside his regular work. Starting in 1948 with How to Invest in the Stock Market Successfully, published while he was still in graduate school, Stewart presented a series of books on investment and the stock market, all published by Detroit Publishing House called market trend survey. In 1951, he followed the first book with Magic of Making Money in the Stock Market, and in 1953 with How Fortunes Are Made in Oil Stocks. Stewart also participated in the Civic Affairs of Oak Ridge, becoming in 1953 the first black member of its own council. It was an important post given the unique situation of Oak Ridge, a town created by the federal government for its nuclear scientists during World War II and the extremely high educational level 
of its average resident. He remained on the council until 1957. While working as senior chemist at Oak Ridge, Stewart also taught chemistry, taught chemistry and physics at Knoxville College from 1953 to 1956. In 1956, when a change of jobs took him north, he began lecturing at John Carroll University in Cleveland, Ohio, where he would continue for the next seven years. In 1956, Stewart took a job with Union Carbide, a large chemical firm. He started, the, as, he started as group leader at its National Carbon Company Division Research Lab in Ohio, the first of many positions as he moved up within the company. His promotion to Assistant Director of Research over the Consumer Products Division in 1960 gave him a numerous, enormous responsibility over a wide array of household items produced by the company. Stewart, in 1963, became Assistant Development Director, and during the mid-1960s, his emphasis shifted from behind-the-scenes research to an increasing role in marketing. Thus, in 1965, he switched to a position as planning manager in new market development, and in 1966 was placed in the position of market development management for the Chemical and Plastics Development Division. While he was moving up the ladder at Union Carbide, Stewart also became involved in a number of significant outside activities, as he had done at Oak Ridge. He served as a consultant for the Ford Foundation, a prominent charitable organization, in 1963 and in the mid-1960s held two important consulting positions with the federal government as administrative officer with the National Aeronautics and Space Administration in 1963, and in the same role with the Agency for International Development, which assists developing nations, from 1964 to 1969. He also served with the Cleveland and New York Rotary Clubs, as well as with the Urban League, as president of its Cleveland chapter during the 1960s. As the decade ended, Stewart took the role of market manager for rubber chemicals in Union, Car Union Carbide's market area, and in 1971 was assigned as market manager for chemical coating solvents. The mercurial Stewart made another shift in 1973 to international business manager for the chemical and plastics division, Thus, he held a high position with Union, Union Carbide, a particularly notable fact given that he was a member of a minority group. In 1977, he became the first black director of sales for the Chemicals and Plastics Division, and in 1979 took the role of National Sales Manager over the Solvents and Intermediates Division. The year 1982 saw the last change of title in Stewart's quarter century with Union Carbide when he took a position as Corporate Director for University Relations. The University Relations work led to a job switch in 1984 when Stewart left Union Carbide to become Associate Dean and Professor of Marketing at Western, Continent, at Western Connecticut State University. He continued, however, to consult with Union Carbide. In addition, his concerns over apartheid a policy of institutionalized racism that prevailed in South Africa during the 1980s led to his involvement with the Foundation for Social Justice in South Africa. He served as the organization's vice president from 1986 to 1993. Stewart is a member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences and the American Chemical Society, and from 1975 to 1980 served on the board of trustees for the New York Philharmonic. Among the awards he has received are alumni, alumni citations from St. Louis University in 1958 and from the University of Chicago in 1966. He received the Certificate of Merit from the Society of Chemical Professions in Cleveland in 1962 and holds two U.S. patents. He resides in Danbury, Connecticut. Citations are in the description.